It's just so scary. <laughs> I wanted this video to be real and raw and so I thought what a better way to be vulnerable than to do it naked. I feel like it's time. Time to talk about my food addiction. Recently I've made quite a lot of new friends at YouTube and we all watch each other's videos. Their channels are about their strengths. Like for instance, we have one guy who does a travel vlog, one guy who does music, one guy who does comedy, and they're all of their strengths. And mine is focused on my weakness, which I've turned into my strength. It's food. It's mine's about food. It's about the way food has affected my body, my life, how I've turned my life around. But at the moment, oh God, here we go. <sighs> At the moment, food is winning. It's making me feel awful, and I don't really know how to snap myself out of it. I know that I go through times of being like this, and I say to myself, once I'm out of it, like, oh, you just have to ride the wave, and you know, you get out of it, but it's just so scary. I literally feel like, I even put notes around my house, like, focus, what do you want? I had this the other day on my, uh, side in the morning I came downstairs and I saw focus what do you want and I binged I saw the note and I thought I want to look great did I do something did I have my berries did I have my oats no I didn't okay I'm even going to tell you what I ate the other day I ate a hot, I've got a George Foreman which generally is meant to be there for cooking healthy things so I grilled a muffin I grilled a whole pack of halloumi I would sit there slicing it and grilling it ate that then I had um, a wrap like three tortilla wraps with cheese in it with mayonnaise um, that this is breakfast by the way oh and th and three crumb three crumpets and that was in like within like an hour I think it's because I have I got so big because I secretly ate I like secretly eating I just do it's it, I just do and I don't know why it's so weird I don't want to be a, I don't want to eat in secret as they say what you eat in secret you wear in public and right now I feel absolutely like so embarrassed like when I stand at combat at the front um I feel like everyone can see and I feel like people notice and they might be like saying, oh look, she's gaining a weight back. We all knew it would happen. I don't want to, I, I want to be strong. I don't want to be weak. And I don't know how to get my strength back. So I'm feeling, because I want to say to you, I want to say to you, yeah, it's great. When you get to go, it's amazing. And it is, don't get me wrong. When I feel better, like when I've been on track for a few days and I am going out, for instance, with the girls and I put on my skinny jeans, my high heels, my makeup and I walk out the house like, yes, I have earned every single ounce of this feeling. I feel like I, anything, I feel like I could do absolutely anything in the world. But then I have flip sides where I'm this. I'm... <laughs> I'm snotty, I'm teary, and I'm just vulnerable, and that's human nature. And I feel like I needed to do this video just to say, it's okay to feel like a fucking mess. I'm the support network for everyone that watches me, and that is exactly why I'm here. But at the same time, I need help too. I just feel incredibly vulnerable and incredibly fragile. So that was the other day, two days ago, three days ago, and I'm over it. I thought I'd do an update. I wasn't even gonna post that footage, but I thought I'd do an update. I'm gonna do these new videos called Minute Motivation where it's just a, literally a snippet of me just saying something to inspire. Everything in life is a choice. Every single day starts off fresh, so if you wanna make it a bad day, then it'll be a bad day. If you wanna make it a good day, 
then it will be a good day. So you can choose good options, you can choose bad options, you can choose to sit on the sofa or you can choose to put your trainers on and work out. Your future is in your hands. Which future do you choose? I chose to kick myself up the butt, stop standing in the hall naked and to do something about it. What's your choice? For more motivation and inspiration, follow me on Instagram, Lose It Like Lauren. Subscribe here on YouTube, Lose It Like Lauren, and Lose It Like Lauren on Facebook too. So I hope you had a great day. Choose well. Make today a step closer to your goal. Keep losing, keep smiling, and I'll see you soon.